It's not that I have anything against selective coloring, it definitely has a purpose. Take brands like Nike and Lego and Adidas Gatorade, and you can use selective coloring to send powerful messages as well. Unfortunately, photographers have taken this to a whole nother level and it's a little obnoxious, but I get asked all the time how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do selective coloring inside of Lightroom in today's Friday Quickie. <laughs> The first thing we want to do is head into the HSL section and then go to saturation. Then what we want to do is actually desaturate all of the colors that we have listed here. Once you've done this, we're going to head up to our adjustment brush and we're going to reset all of these settings by double clicking on the word effect. And then we're going to pull the saturation in the adjustment brush all the way up to 100%. This is just so that we can see what's happening and then we'll dial it back as necessary. And we're simply going to just go around and brush on the parts of the photo that we actually want to colorize. A good thing we can do here is actually make our brush as large as it can be to cover all of what we're looking for and just click one time. And do this for any of the other areas as well. If you get a little bit of overspill, we can always just go into a race and get rid of the excess that we didn't really mean to incorporate. Now, once we've painstakingly selected the areas that we want to bring color back to, you can adjust the saturation to whatever level you want. You can even play with the temperature sliders to pump these colors up to different colors. And you can even go back down to the HSL section and play with the hue of the color and change that color completely. So there you are. Hopefully you enjoyed this tip. Now it can be a lot of fun when you're editing pictures of your kids or grandkids, things of that nature, but please use this tip sparingly. That's all I got for you. Have a great weekend, everybody.